Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another full case break of 2018. Bowman's Best Baseball Pick Your Team 10 on Friday night. Happy Friday, everybody. There it is, the 28th. Pick Your Team 10. Big thanks to everybody who got into the action here. And William, last spot, Mojo Pirates. Good luck, everyone. So we got two boxes right there, four, six, and eight. Number four autos per box. So 32 autographs total, two per mini box. Good luck, everybody. We've got a playbook break that's really close to filling up, ladies and gentlemen, so we can do that right after this. This break will take about half an hour. So by then, we'll be uh, ready for the next one after that. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Uh, so what... The, the hot stove, ladies and gentlemen, has been a little on the cold side. Nothing really going on. Although someone mentioned earlier today that, that Machado, Manny Machado, is going to announce his decision after the new year, shortly after the first. And that decision will probably be the New York Yankees, which makes sense. I think that's what, that's what a lot of us kind of speculated in the offseason as well, shortly after the season ended. Machado, Yankees, no Didi Gregorius. He's getting that elbow surgery, I think. He's a free agent, too, I think. So that seemed like a natural fit. We've got Angels to sign Jonathan Lucroy. Blue Jays signing Matt Shoemaker. Nationals sign Anibal Sanchez. I'm adding to their pitching staff a little bit. Nelson Cruz deal happened as well. Need a little more action though. Where's Bryce going? Where's Machado going? Officially, where, where are they officially going? Find out. Luis Urias. Good start for the Friars. That'll be for Josh Pruce. And there's Daniel Lynch for the Royals. That'll be for Karen and KC. And can you imagine Glaber Torres, Miguel Andujar, Giancarlo Stanton, Aaron Judge, and then Manny Machado? There's Trevor Larnock for the Twins. That will go to Jerry Bennington and the Twinkies. And a redemption behind Walker Bueller. Who could that redemption be? There's only a handful of players that are redemptions in, in this set. Save a couple of those Otanis as well for the Angels. Well, we're going to find out. So 126 to 250 on that Walker Bueller. That'll be for my Dodgers, Robert and Cohn with little Dodger Joe Mojo. The redemption is Jaron Kendall, another Dodger. Best of 2018 autograph, green parallel, Jaron Kendall. Nice.
green is out of 99 maybe on the autographs? I'm not sure. All right, so there you go, Robert. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Ken McCool saying that the green is out of 99. All right, thank you, sir. One, the latest on Sonny Gray, boys and girls, Yankees right-hander Sonny Gray has been on the trade block all off-season. This is according to MLBTradeRumors.com. But the club hasn't found an offer to its liking for the 29-year-old. There's at least one serious suitor for Gray, though, as John Morosi of MLB.com tweets that the Brewers are still prominently in the mix for him. Meanwhile, NL Central rivals Reds are fading in that race. A slew of teams have kicked the tires on Sonny Gray, but despite his difficulties in... Uh, in 2018, the Yankees reportedly want a they want high-end big leaguers in exchange for him. Interesting. I feel like Sonny Gray would be worth would be worth a try. He's really solid in Oakland. I think maybe in the right environment, maybe a little consistency, you know. I think that would be a little consistent knowing where home is going to be. You know, I think I think that would help him greatly. Could be interesting. That'd be great for the Brewers. There's Jordan Adams for the Angels. Nice Angels auto for Mary. So those are we'll stack the autos out of this box right there. And, wow, nice. There it is, green, 999. 38 out of 99, Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. That's for Phil. Huge hit for the White Sox. That's their big first-round pick. Nice, White Sox quietly building a nice team of youngsters. There's Helio Ramos, a little oppo Joe Mojo for Ed Ramos. A Ramos for Ramos. There you go. Nice one, Ed Ram. Freddie Freeman to 250. That'll be for Luke Smith and the Bravos. And Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Another Angel for Mary. All right, so those are your four autos there. Any low-numbered parallels here? Nice atomic Josh Donaldson. Devers in the back. All right, two boxes down. Six more to go. What is what is Sunny Gray command in an open market? That'd be interesting to see. What will what will the Brewers trade? MLB.com, MLB trade rumors .com saying while Gray's a candidate to bounce back in 2019, doesn't appear it'll happen in New York since Brian Cashman admitted in mid October that Gray would likely be better off elsewhere. Executive Cashman has assigned left hander James Paxton for the Mariners, re signed Jay Happ and CC Sabathian free agency. And they'll join Severino and Tanaka. So yeah, Sonny Gray, a little kind of the odd man out. The Brewers, meanwhile, MLBTradeRumors.com continuing. Meanwhile, don't look to be as fortunate as the Yankees when it comes to current starting options. Although Milwaukee came within a game of the World Series worth 2018, success came without a great-looking rotation. The unit has since been seen Wade Miley and Gio Gonzalez become free agents. It's now down to Ulysse Chassin, Chase Anderson, Zach Davies, Brandon Woodruff, and the rehabbing Jimmy Nelson, among others, to vie for starting roles. Yeah, the Brewers could really use some pitching. 
some starting pitching. The relief pitching is great. There's got to be some other options out there, too, to shore up that staff. Yeah, I guess that's what it was, Chris. Mr. Mike's daddy saying he couldn't handle the spotlight. Man, yeah, it's not always uh, New York, not for everybody, not always an easy place to play. All right, there's Jordan Alvarez. Astros, I think that was Astros were a late pickup. Matt Bodner on the board. We got a gold, Travis Swaggerty to 50. That goes to William L. It's nice gold. And a nice auto coming up. Former number one overall pick, Royce Lewis. Twins. That'll go to Jerry. Chris Davis at 250, purple chrome. That'll be for Chris Hale and the A's. And there's Bruce Dog Greaterall, another twin for Jerry. Voice is going, folks. I'll have to. I'll have to eventually. I might. If I lose my voice, I'll have to do breaks in American Sign Language. Alec Thomas going to Chris Garosi in the Snakes. There's Austin Meadows, Rays edition, out of 150. And that will go to Todd. It's Trey Turner Atomic. And next box. The Lucroy deal. That was a one year deal. $3.35 million for Jonathan Lucroy with incentives that could make it go up to $4 million, 32 years old. Don't the Brewers need a catcher? I thought I thought that maybe there, there might be a, a Jonathan Lucroy reunion in Milwaukee unless he kind of, unless, unless there's some bad blood there. That's interesting. Mets found a veteran catcher in free agency earlier in the month when they signed Wilson Ramos to a two-year $19 million guarantee. However, the club had been willing to pay a much steeper price for the premier backstop in the open market, Yasmani Grandal. Mets offered him four years, $60 million. Grandal turned it down. Interesting. He thinks he can, Grandal thinks he can get more? Seems like a pretty good deal. Maybe he's looking for four years, $80 million. All right, there's Matt Libertor. Nice. It's another nice Ray for Todd. And we got gold, Mike Trout, 18 out of 50. And Royce Lewis to 150.
And Justin Williams, another Ray for Todd. I don't know if uh, Grandel is a Scott Boris client. It might be. I mean, I guess qualifying offer, now that I think about it, what, what is 60 divided by four? $15 million a year? I can't do that in my head. Yeah, it's 15. Uh, I guess the qualifying offer was almost 17 million a year. So, So maybe he's thinking he can get at least that, but with more years. There's uh, Connor Scott for the Marlins. Ken McCool on the board with that auto. Good to see you again, Ken. Oh, redemption. Let's hide that. Yeah, Grandal's 30 years old. 30 years old for a catcher. I mean, you can't sign it for too long. Or too much. You are due to receive a best of 2018 autograph of... A, I think we all know the, some of the redemptions by now. Anthony Ziegler. Anthony goes to the Yankees. Bryson with the Yanks. Oh, qualifying officer offer is $17.9 million, which he declined. A one-year qualifying deal, 17.9, so almost $18 million. Yeah, so maybe maybe Grandall is looking for $20 million a year. Maybe for four, four or five years or something like that. Aside from the Mets, the 30-year-old Grandall, this is also still according to MLBTradeRumors.com, has also drawn interest from the Dodgers. Probably no more than a year or two. Reds, Angels, and White Sox this winter. Other than the White Sox who traded Omar uh, Narvaez and signed James McCann, those teams haven't addressed the catcher position any meaningful way since the last season ended. As it stands, as such, as it stands to reason the Dodgers, Reds, Angels could still be among the teams in on Grandall. The Dodgers are, quote, unlikely to re-sign Grandall, though, unless he unexpectedly settles for a short-term contract, according to Jorge Castillo of the LA Times. So, I don't know. We'll see. Dodgers have also been connected to Tigers outfielder Nick Castellanos. But the Dodgers uh, think that the Tigers asking price too high. Apparently, they Detroit had requested either... Alex Verdugo, or big catching prospect Kyber Ruiz. Unsurprisingly, the Dodgers balked at either giving up Verdugo or Ruiz for the defensively challenged Castellanos, who's only under control for another year. All right. Oh, there's one more here. There's Alex Verdugo right there. All right. Good luck, everybody. Vlad Guerrero Jr., that'll be a big name in the hobby next year. There's Kevin Kramer. Kramer versus Kramer. Going to William L. and the Pirates. Last spot mojo. There's your first of four in this box. And, hey Siri. Jose Siri for Josh Proust and the Reds. Nice.
and a Bryce Touring. That kind of snuck up on me. Brewers, John Oakray. John O. Johnny O with the Bryce Touring redemption for his brew crew. And Trevor Stefan or Stefan. Who knows? But that'll go to the Bronx Bombers. That'll be for Bryson. I'll, I'll learn his name when and if he makes a meaningful impact in the majors. Otherwise, just meet, right? Rook. Uh, Jared Kalanick, 75 out of 99. Wisconsin boy. Drafted by New York. Traded to Seattle. That'll still go to the I'll still go to the Mets though. All right, three boxes to go. Wait, have we seen any of the I don't think we've seen I don't think we've seen Acuna autographs. Ozzy Albius a couple, I think. We have not seen a maybe one Tatis autograph. I think just one. But that's a big name in the hobby. Most of you should remember remember his dad, right? I remember his dad. Many moons ago. Fernando Tatis Sr. now, I guess. The original Fernando Tatis. Hit two grand slams in one inning off of Chan Ho Park of the Dodgers. Kind of amazing. That was not a good day for the dog. Right, just three boxes to go. Four autographs in each box. Twelve autos to go. Good luck, everybody. All right, Ethan Hankins. Indians. That'll be for Chris Garosi. And wow. Sixteen out of fifty. Nice gold Kyber Ruiz. We were just talking about him. Tigers wanted him for uh, for Nick Castellanos. Dodgers said no. Nice one. Who's got my Dodgers? Robert Rincon does. There's Esteban Floreal. Atomic and Harrison Darth Bader out of 99. Here's Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Mary with the Angels. And for the tribe, Noah Naylor. That'll be for Chris Garosi. Alex 
Alec Thomas, 250, Purple Chrome. For the Diamondbacks, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Jono? Just getting here. No, you did not, I'm afraid. You got a Bryce Touring redemption, though. Seems to be a little more common than, uh, than Keston. That's right, two boxes left. John Oakray, still, still a chance. Eight autographs to go. Good luck, everyone. There's Cole Huynh for the Rangers. I'm for Ken McCool. Rangers first round pick. Yeah, Greg, this is indeed Pick Your Team 10. There's more in the store, so check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you miss out on the first one or this one, don't miss out on the next one. And we got Power Producers autograph for the Twins. Eight out of 99, Trevor Larnach. It's for Jerry and the Twins. There's Andrew McCutcheon, Yankees edition to 150. And behind him, Scott Kingery. Scott Freeman with Scott Kingery, Phillies. There's Roldis Chapman to 250. And Jared Kalanick for the Mets. Nice. It's been a nice case. Mary Lou with the Mets. Wisconsin kid here. Last box coming up. Four more autographs to go. Do I see any other orders coming in? Maybe, perhaps. All right, I see three orders coming in. Patrick, Michael, and Jess. Is that playbook full? That playbook's gotta be full by now, right? Yes, playbook is done. So 2016 playbook football coming up right after this. So let's say, where are we at time-wise? Okay, there we are. All right, so we'll probably get the next one, that next break going probably by the bottom of the hour, if not a little bit before, if you're watching live. And that playbook break should take about half an hour. That should run bring us around. All right, so we will, we'll still have probably about two more hours left in the broadcast, around there. By the time we finish this, and then the, uh, the playbook break. So that's plenty of time to fill up another Bowman's Best. A contender's basketball break, a prison basketball mixer, a Bowman Draft Super Jumbo, 
Definitely have time for that. Leaf Fest of Football. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Grab your spots and let's get another break on its way to Breaksville. All right, last one here. Last four autos. Good luck, everyone. Nice early indications on card auto. Carter Kaiboom. Josh Reich with the Nationals. Nice. And it's Christian of Villanueva for Josh Proust and the Friars. Nice Padres auto. I think within a year or two, Padres could be as surprising as like the Phillies or the or the Braves. Good young core, good young team, and they'll kind of come out of nowhere and all of a sudden could all just click. And some gold. It's an autograph. Noah Naylor, best performers, gold. 29 out of 50. Nice one for the Indians. Chris Garosi with the Tribe. Nice. And should be one more auto to go. And it's going to be... Here somewhere. There it is. It's Noah Naylor. Another Noah Naylor for Chris and the tribe. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if there's maybe a lower numbered card hiding in here somewhere. No, it doesn't look like it, but a nice break nonetheless. Excellent work, folks. Thanks very much for filling this one up. We got more in the store, so check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. This was Pick Your Team 10. On a Friday night, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.